Making a list of the top 10 exhaust sounds is mostly self-indulgent. Why? Well, because Papa Yams has a pretty sweet audio setup, and it means I get to listen to all the sweet melodies of these bikes at full song and all their glory. At least so long as these YouTube videos weren't filmed on a potato phone at 144p. Seriously people, exhaust shots need to be given the proper treatment, at least 720p or better with a good microphone, not just the one on your phone. Anyways, the exhaust note is a big reason why people buy the bikes they buy. I mean, why else is the very first mod most people do to their bikes a slip-on or a full exhaust system? Sure, maybe you'll pick up a few extra horsepower here and there, but you don't have to lie to yourself anymore. It's okay, I know you just want to make a bunch more noise and hear your motorcycle go vroom! But let's say you're sick of the same old engine note you've had for the past few years and you want something brand new from a showroom that also sounds the absolute business. Well, lucky for you, I've compiled a list of the top 10 best sounding bikes. I've picked one for each engine type that's in production right now, so at least in production from a major manufacturer. So no 143 cubic inch custom V-twin builds or inline 6 CBXs from the good old days. Also, you better believe we're gonna have exhaust clips so you can get a taste of what these bikes sound like. Before we dive in though, I need to take a second to talk to you about your pubes. Dude, they're so messed up, I can see them through YouTube. They're so gnarly that they're actually bending the laws of physics. What if you were the video? What if I was watching you? You're the meme now! You really need to go out and get some pants, or better yet, get yourself a ball shaver that's up to the task. And you already know which one you should be picking up. Yep, that's right, the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. The only ball shaver on the planet rated to withstand the time and space bending properties of even the most unsightly pube forests. It's got a longer battery life, giving you up to 90 minutes of shaving time just in case a simple trim job turns into a Herculean task because you've never trimmed yourself before in your entire life. It's also got wireless charging, includes trimmer guards so you can get and adjust the length you want and best of all you can get it on the cheap guys seriously eight and ten partners prefer a trimmed downstairs so click that link down below get yourself a cool 20 percent off the lawnmower 4.0 no codes or anything like that the discount is applied automatically big shout out to the folks over at manscape for their continued support they make these videos happen and so do you so click the link and support those who make our shenanigans possible okay now let's dive in with the first engine type on the list the single cylinder these are generally thought of to be the least interesting engine sounds, but there are a select few bikes that can sound pretty cool. And I'm not talking DRZs with crazy top end builds either. For this entry, we're actually gonna be talking about six motorcycles, but considering they all use the same engine, maybe we're just talking about one engine. We are, yeah. It's the KTM 690 and Husqvarna 701 platform. All those bikes use the KTM LC4 690 engine, which is a little different from your average single cylinder. First, it's a massive piston, basically singles top out at around 4 or 500 cc, but KTM said, nah, more power, baby! And decided to make an engine with a piston the size of a dinner plate that has a super short stroke for higher RPM power. It's putting down 74 horse and 55 foot pounds of torque, which is a lot for a bike with an average weight of 365 pounds. But it's not just size that sets the bike apart. It's got two spark plugs, which Mike Googling tells me that this bike allows it to burn more fuel efficiently. What it actually does is make a pretty sweet sounding exhaust note too. Take a listen. Next up, we're moving to parallel twins, and we've got three on the list because it's a very popular engine design. We'll start off with the most boring configuration, the 180 degree crank or standard firing order P-twin. Look, I'm just gonna come out right and say it, this is my least favorite engine in all of motorcycling, not just the sound, but the way it makes its power. It's boring, vibey, and usually packed into cheaper feeling beginner bikes. But my predilection for fancy Euro bikes aside, let's talk about some of the best sounding 180 degree crank P-twin, the Ninja 400. Yes, 650s make more noise, but they don't make a better noise, and the little Ninja with the right pipe can actually sound pretty cool. When we put a Leo Vinci slip on on the Ninja 400 we gave it away, it actually sounded like an angry little Moto 3 bike. That is to say, it sounded like an angry lawnmower, but an angry lawnmower is still a lawnmower, so for my money, I'd skip the standard P-Twin. Let's take a listen. Moving on, we're going to talk about the small displacement cross-plane parallel twins, which means there's only two to choose from, the MT-07 and the RS-660. This one's a hard choice, but for me, it's got to be the RS-660. Every time I turn over our giveaway RS-660 that we have in the shop, it sounds so cool. It's got a low grumble, and when you get on the boil, it sounds even better. We've got a full aero system on ours, which does have a cat in it, but honestly, I think it makes the perfect amount of noise, and it's not going to drone on the highway, and it's not going to be ear-splitting to the rest of humanity around you. Plus, a little back pressure is not a bad thing, guys. Remember that. 
Anyways, I could probably write a nice little love sonnet about the RS, but instead, I'll just let you listen to our giveaway bike. If you want to win this bike, your time's almost up. You've only got until Wednesday this week to get entered. Click the links down below and check out YamanooMerch.com and YNMoto.co and make sure you use the code RS660 for 10% off your order and 2x entries to win. Get in while you can because you're not going to want to miss out on this bike. Number four is going to go to the Big Bore Parallel Twinge, which means north of 1,000 cc's. Once again, this is going to limit us for options. There's the Africa Twin slash Rebel 1100 engines or the Triumph Bonneville 1200 engines. Sorry, Honda, but I'm too much of a Triumph simp to not include them on the list. Triumph has been making a version of this engine for decades, going back all the way to the 60s and 70s, assuming you don't count the 30-year-ish nap the platform took, and it just sounds as good today as it did back then. Take a listen. It's got all the lopey qualities of an old V-twin, but a modern engine putting down north of 79 horsepower and 77 foot-pounds of torque in the T120, but you can get bonnies that are making even more. If you want a classic look and feel with none of the headache of owning a vintage motorcycle, you might as well run out and grab a Bonnie. Moving on to our V-Twin offerings, we're going to start with air-cooled engines. Since they're built with looser tolerances and usually lower compression, these engines have a very unique sound. And while I'm sure you were expecting to see a Harley in this spot, those potato potato machines are a little ubiquitous. I need something a little more esoteric to get me excited. The choice for the air-cooled V-Twin goes to none other than the Ducati Scrambler. Any Scrambler will do as long as it's got the signature 803cc V-Twin in. It. Yeah, big surprise. I put my own motorcycle on the list, but I'm confident in saying it's the best sounding air cooled V twin out there. Take a listen. First, it's a Ducati, and they always sound good. Second, it's an air cooled Desmo, which adds a little something extra to the sound. Third, it's putting down 73 horsepower and 50 foot pounds of torque. What more could you want? Oh, I just thought of something you could realistically start on one if you wanted. Boom. Perfect package. I rest my case. Number six today goes to the liquid cooled V twin offering. There's only one on the planet that can moisten the collective nether regions of motorcyclists everywhere the KTM Super Duke R. 1301 cc's of fire breathing fury putting down 180 horsepower and 103 foot pounds of Torgeronimos. How could it not sound the absolute business? Take a listen. <laughs> Yep, there's no denying that sounds like an absolute animal. It's fitting too, given how much of a handful the bike is to ride. If it sounded like that but rode like a 650, something would be wrong. You don't pick up a Super Duke for a pleasant Sunday cruise. You buy one because you want every motorcycle ride to be exhilarating. You want it to be a test of skill and testicular fortitude every time you twist the throttle. Man, who wrote this script? There's literally like a whole page of simping for the Super Duke here. I'm not reading all this. Skip! Number seven is our triple cylinder entry, and despite the fact that the Daytona is no longer in production, much to my chagrin, there's still tons of amazing triples out there, and I had a hard time picking, but I think it's gotta go to the MV Agusta Brutale. You basically can't go wrong with any version here, but I'm gonna go ahead and give the nod to the Dragster RR we've got here from the shop from Eurocycle. A, because it's putting down like 150 horsepower, and B, because it's got a full SC Project exhaust on it. Check out these clips we shot of the Brutale and tell me this isn't the sound of heaven right here. Best part of owning an MV Triple is that you can flex on all the normies on their MT09s and Street Triples because they made the obvious choice. They got the PBR and the Stella Artois of Triples, and you're sitting there with the Menabrea Beyond of motorcycles. Yes, it'll get you physically from point A to B, but this one moves your soul. Assuming it'll start up in the morning. Number eight, now we're moving on to inline fours, the power plant that every street Rossi aspires to. Massive top end rushes, sweet soundtrack, and literally no bottom end power whatsoever because who cares if your bike's a good daily rider when you can look cool in your Power Ranger suit. Now, there's tons of choices when it comes to inline fours, and a lot of them sound more or less like the same thing, but I'm gonna shout out two here. First, let's take a look at the best standard setup, and that's going to come from the CBR1000RRR SP Fireblade. Now, I'm not just putting this bike on here because I'm giving one away. It's on here because it sounds exactly like a homologation race bike should. Take a listen. is glorious. That is what $30,000 worth of bike will get you, I suppose. Earth-shattering performance and an exhaust note good enough to make angels cry. Number nine goes to the other in line four, 
the R1. Yep, you knew I was going to have to mention it on the list at some point. It's still the best sounding in line 4 in my opinion. Some people swear by the standard firing order they claim to be able to tell the difference between a ZX-10 and s 1000 rr but those people are wrong and they just don't want to admit it. It's okay, I have a hard time admitting it myself, but then I took the R1 around a track and it solved that problem for me pretty quick. I honestly don't get why manufacturers don't just copy Yamaha here and just make crossplane N94s of their own, though I guess if they did that the R1 wouldn't be special anymore, which would be a bummer. Also, they'd get raked over the coals by angry commenters for just copying Yamaha. Oh well, let's take a listen to this bike and feel better about your life for at least 30 seconds or so. Yep, that's the good stuff right there. Grumbling low end and a howling top end. What else could be better? Well, if you know anything about anything, you've probably already guessed what bike could manage to take the R1 in the top spot in today's list. The Ducati Panigale V4R. Another homologation race bike with lights, an eye-watering $40,000 price tag, and hands down one of the greatest exhaust notes ever made by a motorcycle. Take a listen. It's basically a tame version of the Desmo Sedici GP so that people with more money than sense don't instantly unleash 300 plus horsepower and slam into a wall. But hey, over 230 of the wheel? That's not too bad. God help you if you decide to put a full exhaust on yourself though. I watched a video of someone doing it themselves and yeah, no thanks. I'm good. I'll just listen to it on YouTube, I guess. Also, this bike revs to like 16,000 RPM. That's an incredibly spicy little meatball. Fact. Kia parrots spread warbles when they're in a good mood, making them the first known non-mammal species to communicate with infectious laughter. Goodbye. And just like that, when you least expect it, Cowboy Aim is back at it once again. Why don't you click this video right here, you let me know what you think of it, okay? Leave me a nice comment, subscribe to the channel, leave me a like, do all those nice things, and y'all have yourselves a good day.